Do, do, do. Okay, so you might notice uh, that this looks familiar to you if you played uh, Super Mario 64. Oops, it's a little bit special. Uh, let me go. A little special here. Let's uh, quiet it down just by doing this. So this is using uh, a tool that um, helps you get like a uh, uh, ray traced converter that converts your original Super Mario 64 ROM into a PC executable pretty much. So if you have your original cartridge backed up to your computer in a supported file and everything, you can use the tool that I'm going to link downtown to pretty much turn that one into a standalone game uh, with many cool stuff. This is a ray tracing version, but I'm going to link you to a very easy tool that you can use to help you try different versions of this. There are many different ones. Uh, this is one that are using ray tracing and also additional HD textures, which is really nice. And I'm just going to run a little bit, show a little bit of uh, options, and we'll discuss this. I might or might not disable comments. I'm not sure, because every time you do this, there are people screaming, Give me ROM, where's the ROM? And it will never happen. Uh, just, just showing stuff like this are pretty, sometimes, uh, you know, treading the needle of what some companies are going to even accept. So, yes, I don't know. And also, I'm not support channel for this tool. They are very easy to get going. But if you don't have the basic knowledge to get them going, this might not be right for you because you might, you know, it isn't just, it just isn't like a console game to just put in, a, you know, your disk and away you go or you click your, you know, install game and then you can launch it. Uh, there are going to be weird things gonna happen, uh, but it is very easy to get this going as long as you have access to you, you know, your backed up Super Mario 64 f file there. So, um, but yeah, let's go on. Uh, I hope I might keep commentaries on, and if they get weird, I might turn them off. I don't know, but I wanted to showcase this, and why I'm showcasing this is because just like a day or two ago. There was this, the same thing being done for Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is a huge game. And they added some extra improvements with like gyro aiming. I don't know if that is supported with the, with the Steam controller. And that, unfortunately, requires you to have like a special like debug cartridge backed up. Um, this should work with like the normal one. So, you know, yeah. But I, you know, curious, you know, curious killed the cat, so curiosity killed the cat, so I obviously had to tinker with that quickly. And it's cool, but it isn't, uh, you know, even this one is going to be not uh, super polished in every kind of way, but it is much better. Um, but I think it's amazing that you can see what the community can do to stuff and... Uh, this is things that Nintendo should be doing to keep the legacy of their old favorites going forward. But, yeah. Just show you some gameplay. Um, oh, it's nice. It is capturing this one. Oh, that's nice. So, it's not a secret that. That's just a built-in tool you can see. Uh, as long as I'm under 16.67... Milliseconds there. I should be pretty good. I believe. Maybe ray tracing zero. Or it might be that they both should be around eight. I don't know. It feels good at this at the moment this is uh, sixty frames per second. Very beautiful water here. Some you can see the reflections here, the green leaves, and everything here looks absolutely, absolutely so beautiful. Here, nice shadow of Mario. There, and 
you know, it's not. It's this isn't just about uh, the ability to use like the HD textures Yahoo! or like the ray tracing. Yahoo! Let me quickly. I'm gonna turn this down even a little bit more. So we're gonna go through that menu. Don't you worry. Yahoo! And if you wonder. The stats, it's pressing F1 on my keyboard to bring those one up. Uh, probably not necessary to have them up. You can feel if the game's gonna run good or not, so... Let's go into the classical. Ooh, nicely. Kind of a little bit of soft shadow going on here. It looks very nice. Both the HD texture pack here. I believe this is the render 96 uh, uh, port or, you know, version that this uh, tool has helped me download, compile on Windows in very simple. And then it also helped with uh, just getting. The Mario's, you know, the ROM file, just working with it, so... Let's go. And you don't have to have the HD texture pack, you can run this with, you know, the standard. Uh, there are versions without, you know, the ray tracing for higher performance. So there are many tweaks that can be done. Um, this is very computer heavy. I'm running with, you know, hardware acceleration with uh, the NVIDIA GPU here. And also, I'm using DLSS. It will support AFSR 1.0 here. Uh, most likely, you want to have like NVIDIA graphics card for this ray trace version. Otherwise, it might be better to go without the ray tracing. Hello! Dun, 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 dun. Yo, move! No, okay. I was checking for something. I know the way. I'm just checking something. You can go that way, but I don't think I have the ooh, skills at this moment. I also believe you can cheat. We're gonna do something more here. Uh, you can also cheat. You can also cheat this rate. That's much nicer. Balance. No! Oh my god. Oh, whew, saved it. I think you can use this sheet on this uh, this race. Uh. Oops! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks nice. This little shadow there. Um. We're gonna play a few levels, and then I'm thinking that we're gonna go through some options in the menu, and uh, yeah, just because of... Oh my god, oh sorry, it's still very, very loud here. I can see that OBS uh, still seems, seems to be Pretty close to each other. I want my voice in this to be quite a bit louder. So uh, you can see some nice lightning effects there, and works fine with the Steam overlay, the Steam controller here, and you have analog input. You can play with the keyboard, and there we go. Mario games definitely works well with you know keyboard. I actually play this. Uh, I have a uh, Nintendo 64 and my backup unit all the way in the 90s and Ultra HLE came out and I played this on a beautiful for the first time a CRT monitor and 
was it like eight times six hundred you know eight hundred times six hundred and like uh, that's when i really started loving emulators the sharpness it brings and like the options to add the different settings and it was amazing i even remember i played uh, the, 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 the ESL though also and a few more Mario Kart 64 um, on mouse and on keyboard then but uh, it's Mario Kart I feel is better with uh, do, 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 with um, with the gamepad get here you son of a lil huh huh your mama is worried come on come on don't, don't. Can I? Hello? Is it? This yeah, it is this way. There we go. Yo! Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I love the text in this HD version. You can see some uh, obviously problems with uh, Mars Cap and that, but overall it's uh, really nice. It's running nicely with the 60 frames and uh, some of the, like, the reflection stuff we're gonna see. I should have mentioned it. Let's go back and uh, I'll show you that. It's uh, really what I like about uh, ray tracing, what it's gonna bring to the future. Oh, we can see it here. If you look at the tiles, you know, obviously the reflection can be faked, but you see that like those subtle little reflection down in the, the floor here, the checkerboard here. It's just so like a nice little extra touch. It just makes every like the world more feel alive without you even like you don't really know it, but it just does feel brightens up it, uh, a little bit. Let's uh, just uh, run a little bit more, show the performance and everything. So I'm running this on an RTX 3070. Uh, we're not going to do this world because that world sucks. Uh, and a Ryzen 5600X, it's mostly GPU heavy. When you're running this on an emulator, because obviously why it's a great options and uh, you know, it's more when you run this on the emulator, I feel that uh, the biggest problem there are going to be uh, CPU. And I feel here, you know, it's more the GPU. Yeah. But it's really solid, it's an amazing one. But, but again, like this is what I would like for, like, Nintendo we should have done something like this, you know, sprouts this up. This is what you wanted, like, uh, you know, a nicely little remaster to look like uh, what was it chomp chomp chompy we're gonna go and kick chompy's ass just the world the shadows and it's just nice little textures here there is analog support you can walk slowly as i said so nice gamepad I might, you know, it would definitely be nice, oh, come on, uh, to check out, like, the Zelda or Ocarina of Time do video, but it definitely needs to mature more. And I, f you know, I I don't have, like, the, the own the debug cartridge, so I wouldn't, you know, want to do a video showcasing something like that. If it works with like normal game cartridges, uh, you know, the Zelda, I, then it might be, you know, more interesting to look into it. And, uh, you know, obviously if they add like ray tracing stuff and uh, uh, like mouse aiming, so or the gyro for uh, gyro controls for Steam controller, because, you know, that would definitely be something really cool that would help with the aiming in Zelda. All right, I messed that one up. Sorry. Oops. Ah, no, no. Oops, I'm trying something. 
Okay, let's just kick his ass. But you can pretty much just like do like that. It's just so nice playing this game. Uh, I, this is, you know, with the HD textures, it looks, you know, and aged much better than the original. Uh, but gameplay-wise and audio-wise, uh, this game to me is still one of the most balanced and fun 3D platformers that I've played. I um, think there's like very, very few games that have come close to this. Do, 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 do. Okay, one more start. We go kick Bowser's ass. Uh, and then, yeah, we can kick. And then we can show up. Show some options off. Uh, let's let's do one more of this one. Oh, I messed that one up. Do, 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 do. Back to the top of the board. All oh, right, we are supposed to. I messed that one up. Come on. Hey. Okay, you can do tiny jump. I wasn't sure. Isn't there a? Oh, right, you can do a shortcut here. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Ah, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it the long way. Are you shitting me? There we go. Hello, camera. Unfortunately, the camera isn't uh, really working as... There is a free mode, but it was a little bit weird. It was a mouse mode for the camera. Uh, I'm gonna mess around with the settings uh, in a in a in a minute to show some off. So uh, let's try them together then. Here we go. Now we can kick Bowser's ass. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. But yeah, it's amazing seeing you know the, the classical like this. And it's so, it's a shame that, like, the Nintendo don't give the love to their IPs in this way. Uh, they just take the old ones and slap some kind of emulator on it and then call it of the day, basically, pretty much. Maybe some minor tweak here and there, but, like, let's show off something before we start, just yes, because, like, I don't remember if, it's, if the base game was 30 or 60 frames, but... Anyways, like this you can push. Let's just go for this. It might not be 100% smooth. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. But like, I can tell. And it's just like, holy crap, 120 frames, you know, so smooth. And, you know, the, it's like things like this, if Nintendo really made a, a, an effort, they could make their games be nice, smooth, 120 frames support on the modern hardware, or go 60 frames uh, at least, and a stable one should be uh, no problems. Uh, we're gonna do 60 because I'm using ray tracing, because you can't, I'm only recording in, in 60 since YouTube uh, doesn't really support up to 60 frames, so there's no point really to push it in this game I feel 60 is fine 
I do prefer 120, but it's fine. And for stability, recording, let's stay for that at the moment. I'm gonna try to turn like off all the ray tracing fe features and then just let's go for like a smoother 120 frame. I might even try to see if I. I might do at the end try to see if we just turn off the ray tracing complete. Wait a minute. Oh, I forgot something. Shall we go? Let's see if I can. Okay, I messed that one up. Are you. Okay, let's try this again. I want the red coin, but the, the camera is so bad in this game. Uh, yeah, but we, we're gonna tweak some stuff here. So I just wanna play a little bit of some gameplay. Doink. <laughs> just show off a little bit of a gameplay before. But let's try again. Come on, I can do the red coin. I think I remember where they are. So you should do that. And you should do this. There we go. I'm taking it a little bit slow since there's been uh, quite a time since we I play this so. Da, 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 da. Ooh, looks so nice. It's not much nice reflection and stuff. And the lightning effect in here. You can see that uh, they are like Alexia is uh, interacting with the ground. As, uh, so nice looking. No! Come on, there we go. Wow. Don't mess with Mario. Ha! Goombas. I think they are something. The FPS camera. Or third person. True third person. Whee! Would have been cool if you had like an FPS mode. Like. <laughs> and then a, a true VR mod for this also. Yeah. That would have been awesome. Except for turn off the uh, turn off the like the do 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 his uh, that one. Somersault or what you call it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Camera, there we go. Mario's greatest enemy, the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Get shit on! Haha! <laughs> the massacre of the Goombas. Mario the Goomba Slayer. But ooh, I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah. There we go. No, I missed. 
So this was... Uh, oh, this is looks nice. You can see there. A nice little reflection there. You can see Mario, you can see Bowser. Oh, so nice. Remember this motion when you do this circle, how much the Nintendo 64 joystick gets scratched up by this. Oh, come on. It's been so long since, I, since I've done this one. Come here, you little... Come here. Huh? God damn, the aiming is so terrible. Thank you. Oh my god, that was terrible, awful. I believe this is the game that I first, like 100%, everything, did absolutely everything in it. You don't really see it uh, now, right? In uh, the original, there are some heavy sun rays coming down here. I believe this is... No? Okay, it's not activated yet. Uh, when will it be activated? Let me try something. Just real quick. We are about to mess with the settings here. Uh... Oh, you can see even in like the metal metallic lock there, the reflections there. Uh, oh, god damn, you camera is shit. Oh, no, nope. I also remember that you could do Yahoo! this. And you can do... Da -da -da! Because now you can get two secrets! Ah, there's the shortcut here, alright. Isn't there like a bunny here? One annoying little jumper. I do know that I said I was gonna check the option. I am, I'm just showing off this little, very nice little place here. Hello? You can see this getting blue here on the ground, and there's... Okay, there is a bow. Isn't there a bunny? If I go this way. Is there a bunny here now? No? No bunny? Okay. Hasn't he appeared yet? There is a free star, I believe, in this room. By a little dude. Well, I'm gonna go up and check something, and then we are heading to the settings menu. Gonna turn some stuff 
aufkehrst. You might have to go into like a level, I guess, before. Oops. I do, 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 do. I do think that you should be able to do like the cap thing, right? Is the ghost uh, here? No? No ghosts? Oh, the lightning on Mario and everything is very nicely. Okay, no ghost house. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we can't do this yet, alright. Mm. Uh, wanna show off something before here. Do -do 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 -do. So, I've seen this is not in the original. Uh, tomorrow 64. This is something else. I need to unlock it or what? Not sure what this is. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Something with keys to do something <laughs> mysterious. Okay, so the menu options. Uh, we go in. So you can change. Uh, nice. Uh, let me go back in. Or return. Uh, free camera. Analog camera. Uh, so free camera. Let's turn that one on and show that one off. So free camera is nice. Oh, let me check something in my controller setting. Um, there we go. So that's nice and everything, but it's... Uh, oh, oof, it's uh, crazy quick, unfortunately. Uh, whoops. So, invert... Uh, oh my god, which is it? Is it uh, Y-axis? So maybe if we turn this one down, it could work. Let's try, try this one. Okay, yeah, this moves, looks fun. So we, you basically get a uh, much nicer camera, free camera than the built-in. Um, let's mouse look, what is that? Mouse look did nothing. Maybe if you do it with free camera. Uh, nope. Nope, does nothing. But I could definitely see this free camera working. 
really nice. Let's keep it on for a little bit, but I'm going to turn this one down even more. There we go. And let's show off game uh, controls. You can remap buttons here to what you want it to be. That's really nice. Uh, in this one, you're not going to use so much. So And display, full screen, uh, you can run this in window mode, vertical sync, I'm keeping that on. Uh, texture filtering, you can, what you, you like a different one. Uh, how long you want to draw this in speed, let's, let's turn this one down. Three point linear nearest. And turn off the HUD if you don't like that. A lot of cool stuff that you can do here. Uh, lie. So I'm guessing draw this in is for like enemies and stuff to increase it, and you can decrease it, and it's probably gonna affect uh, performance. So it's a nice, very nice. Obviously, sound is very good. You have a lot of good stuff here. That's good to be able to mute in the individual stuff. Uh, so this is a well being the Render 96 version that you can get through, the, you know, the program that I'm going to link you down below. Uh, it might be different on other ones. And you access it by pressing the right uh, shoulder button here. You get, if you first, if you first pause the game, and then the right shoulder button, you get to this menu and you go back by pressing the right shoulder button again. Uh, and exit the game. Hmm. Okay, cool. I don't, not for me that. Uh, oops. And then we have this one. So let's, uh, let's you know, turn off some stuff here. Um, if you turn down... You have some motion blur, apply. So there's pretty much not going any, any crazy, you know, super crazy stuff going on right now. You have... There we go. Yeah, you know, it still looks very nice. Uh, let me try something right. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, and you see there's nothing going on here in the... Nothing going on here in the floor. no reflection right now so ray tracing is off uh, let's stick with the mario cam it's gonna be easier uh, oh, for right now but that this was uh, quite nice uh, the free camera with uh, tweaking it that didn't seem to work so let's try this one so here we are and you can see there's no reflection here in the floor the performance is much nicer. So you can run it with just a HD texture, 120 frames. Let's get into a level and try it out. And let's then like turn just turn on whoop. Turn on the ray tracing so you can see the difference. But the lower the the milliseconds, the MS there, the numbers, the lower, the better it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, let's go for that. Since I can feel the super smoothness, but I don't think it's going to get through it, you know, since it's only capture and 60 anyway, so. It 
It feels so nice and good. Very responsive. Uh, I think it's going to be quite a heavy amount of ray tracing in this one. So let's see if we jump in here. Run around, mess around and then turn on ray tracing again. Uh, oops. Uh, boy. Oh, the big bully. <laughs> nice little enemy there. Whoa! Hey! He is not in the original. You can see there was some... R some left there. Uh, whoa! There's still some uh, effects going on here, I'm guessing, since it's like using the... Oh, there we go, there's some reflection going on, using the kind of like the pipeline. Uh, but let's turn on all the ray tracing here again. Oh, okay, it's one light going, okay. So let's see what happens if we go for some crazy stuff here. See if I can do. There we go. Hmm. Still seems to run very nice and smooth here. Looks so incredibly nice. A little bit less performance, maybe, but yeah, very good. So let's play a little bit more here, just showing this one off, and you can tr try this as long as you have access to, you know, uh, the backed up uh, Mario Kart ROM file on your computer. So nice that you can run it on the PC, and with this HD texture pack, it just it looks beautiful. Uh, Aren't that one supposed to break? Uh, break! Uh, on the original one. Um, don't be the woosh. Uh, such a woosh, woosh. Uh, can I make this? Maybe not. Oh, I died. Oh, damn it. Okay. Mamma mia. Oh. I like this level. It's quite challenging, but still an interesting one. So, um. And this is some kind of modification they add. This is not in the original Mario, but it's fine. It's, it's cool with a little bit of a difference. Here, as I said, there are different versions available. Watch that, you know, don't have ray tracing. You know what? Let's let's try if I can do this. Um, let exit it. Let's quickly, if I can show you. Oh, that's cool. If I can quickly just show you. Hello? Oh, okay. There we go. And I'm gonna quickly see if I can get this to show up for you. Uh, that's the ray tracing. So let me... Oh, there we go. Uh, so this is called... Uh, I can show you to this, uh, I believe. Yes. There you go. Super Mario 64. This is the one that I'm using, Super Mario 64 PC Builder 2. Um, let me just do this first, so we don't... No super secret video upcoming stuff in the background going on. And I'll download it, install it. Um, 
may try to do something here for you. And let's... There we go. So, you should be able to see. So, this one is what I'm downloading. Uh, the, if you probably can't see that, right? Since I've turned off. No, you can. Good. I wasn't sure that my mouse cursor was showing. I've disabled that one for the game capture. So, this one is what I'm using. You need to get this software. It's available if you just Google it. You should be able to easy to find it. Download, extract, and run this one. And this is how it looks. And then you can just press the render. This is the one that I'm running. You can press it, and then it will show a download button. You press download, then you press compile, and it will, you know, it will do all its nice little stuff. You can then press like textures, and you can like press install which is really nice now you have this one and you can like press stuff that's the one I'm using and then you just install it so this might be a little bit interesting to learn but source so you the one I'm using was this one I press that one it's a download button you let that run it's a compile button. You press compile. Then I went to the texture. I selected, selected this one. And I pressed install. And then I pressed launch game. And I was in the game. It's not super complicated. When you first launch this SM64 PC builder to you, it will ask you for your backed up ROM file. So all you need to do is just... Uh, oops. Is it not working? This. All you need to do is point this application to the file, and it will do it. It's, it will, uh, you know, do everything for you. And you can try different one here on the sources that might, you know, work better or worse. Um, and also, I believe it. If you go to the options, you can do some. Right here, you can say sec select the render API. So let Try DirectX 11 maybe. And let's see what how that will affect everything. Um, chance and launch. If it turns off the... If it turns off the little ray tracing stuff or not. Okay, my jump button is gone. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, let's just go here. Just curious to see if it's disabled the reflections here. Uh, does run very, very smooth. Uh, there's still a reflection show. I don't believe it. It's not ray. Shouldn't be ray traced anymore. So it should be running much better. Um, yeah, yeah. Frame times are really nice here. So uh, can I see? Max reflection. Okay. Let's see if we do that. Close that one down. Um, I might need to compile it. Uh, set the pro if we can repo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I need to compile it again. So that's why. This uh, Asus Mono 64 RT is requiring ray tracing. Um, this one does not require it, but you need, if you want to change from ray tracing and back, uh, you need to 
need to change this one, right? Yeah, but you know, here we have the program. I would like to try it without the ray tracing here, but it's not. Uh, it wasn't any real nice way, unfortunately, to switch back. It downloads this version, the ray trace version, compile it. So if I wanted a different one, I would have to, you know, re download it or compile it again. Um, So, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Build about Tasia Transfer Yield Windows Console version. Blah, blah, blah. Overview. Render API RT64. So if I change these options, uh, I'm just uh, trying to learn this as I'm going on also. So, uh, okay, render API direct. Let me check this one for you guys. Let's turn on off the burner quickly. I want to see if you can swap them. They should be direct X11 right now then. Let's try this on out together, shall we? It's me, no, it's Direct 3D 12. Okay. It's the ray tracing option here, yeah. Exactly. So so you need to decide beforehand. If you have, you know, uh, a ray tracing capable like NVIDIA GPU, that's, uh, you know, and you feel that you, you want ray tracing, uh, you know, you select the RT64 options when you are downloading render 94 render 96 EX you select that if you don't want that one you know you need to select beforehand another version if you just want the performance the nice smoothness and the HD textures uh, so so yeah that's it. Uh, that's all for this video. I wanted to just give you a quick show of this since it is very nice. All oh, right, sure, that works. There we go. So that's how it works. And uh, very, very, very cool stuff for me, I believe. And the Zelda stuff, you can search online and you can find information about it. And... Um, look up videos and stuff but uh, that does require a very very special backed up Zelda version unfortunately so be aware of that hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm gonna try to leave the comments on as I mentioned but comments about ROMs is just uh, ignored or deleted and uh, like to help with this emulate not emulate but is how the, everything of this works it's better asked to the developers and not you know to me i feel like if you're asking oh i get this error i get this error uh, it's not the right place to ask i'm just showing this off because i like this myself personally i think it's cool stuff so you know check it out if you can if you have the possibility and uh, think around with it and uh, yeah then you can go for the Zelda, look videos and stuff like that. But I, this is something that like Nintendo should have made. They should have updated with this with 60 frame support and like nicer textures and stuff like that. And HD and you can run this in 4K resolutions. And yeah, it's, just, it's sad to see that Nintendo, when they move along, they do the bare minimum. They slap on some cheap emulator and if it runs what they think is okay, then that's good enough. They don't do anything else. Um, and having a vanilla experience is good. But you can have this like, a, uh, many games have like a toggle options. Here you can have this game in the new modern style. Or you can play it in the old style. And yeah. But nice little different video here. Uh, do you enjoy emulators? So it is bound to be popping up emulator stuff now and then 
uh, and I do have more that I want to try emulator and like uh, games so but I do also have easy games that I do want to try that so I, I can't tell you right now what's coming up next but yeah more gaming stuff stuff is happening on this channel so stay tuned for that and uh, you know hope you enjoy this and hope you enjoy trying it yourself if you want that and uh, till next time and the video you know have a absolutely great day